Right, we're back. This is Sepp the Web with another Flatsome tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create this Linktree page. I did this before, uh, so it's an updated version of the Linktree alternative. And if you're not familiar with Linktree, uh, this is a software, uh, a tool where you can create a landing page. And especially a lot of Instagram users are using this uh, because as you can see, for example, Selena Gomez has a Linktree page with a lot of links and inside her Instagram account, she's linking to that Linktree page. So in this case, you can direct your visitors to many places. So I rec recreated this in, uh, in Flatsom, and I'm gonna show you how to uh, add this to your own website. So this is my version, as you can see, and I still need to add this in my own septelweb.com. So let's get started. And oh yeah, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you need to go to the description below because there you can find the tutorial link to go to this member area and then you can find the steps and the UX shortcode because I created it for you. So you only need to uh, copy paste. Right, so let's go to Sepula Web, go to your own WordPress installation, go to the backend and go to pages here on the left and make sure you add a new page. First step, you can call it any, you can give it any kind of title. I'm calling it links. And then maybe this looks a little bit different because I am working with the plugin that disables the Gutenberg editor, um, but probably you know how to create a page and then publish and then go inside the UX builder. And then one of the important steps, and I also wrote it down as step two, is that you need to select the page layout here at the settings gear. And you select the template, no header, no footer. And what that does is that it will delete your header and your footer, of course, and then you have a blank canvas to work with. Um, now we need to import that short code that I already created for you. So maybe if you're seeing this, you need to scroll a little bit down on the member area because the video will be placed on top after this video, after I recorded this. And then you need to select this all. And unfortunately, we don't have a copy paste uh, clipboard function just yet. Hopefully it will be launched. So you need to select all this short code, scroll all the way down. And then you need to copy, of course. And now we're going to import this by clicking on add elements here on the left, click on the import tab, paste it in, click on import. Sometimes you need to click or wait. And here we go. So now you will probably see this as well once you have imported this. And then you can change, of course, the hero, the big image on the background. And what it will be even fun is you can place a video in here by scrolling down in the banner element. And here you can find that you can place a YouTube or a video MP4. That will be even, I haven't done this, but I can imagine that will be really cool to create like a video loop on the back. Here you can click on the image and then you can change the avatar. Um, the circle class makes sure that it will be fully rounded. You can also take that away and then it will be a rectangle. Uh, you can of course change the name and the, and the title. Uh, and here you can find um, the icon boxes. So inside the icon box, there is where you can add the link here on the left. Hopefully you can see it. So that link will cover all the whole thing. So even by clicking on the text, it will direct it to this specific link. Uh, change the text. I'm working with two text elements uh, because of line height. So make sure you click the right element. Um, right, I think I've said enough about these guys. And now we have some buttons on the, on the bottom that I personally like to combine. So it creates a bit of a contrast and these are very easy to change. So you can just click on the button element, change the title, you can even, like I did, change the icon. Instead of play, you can also, you know, go for a plus or whatever. Uh, and here, of course, you can, you know, add in your link. And here down below, we have some follow icons. So you can also uh, add the social icons of your account. So, um, of course, this layout looks the best on mobile. You know, it's optimized for mobile view. Uh, so make... So sometimes this big image, like you can see here on desktop, doesn't really work well. So um, be aware of that. All right, I think that covers it. So you need to go again on the member area section to copy this short code. 
uh, let me know what you think. You can, you know, also once you registered on the member area, you can uh, comment if you're having problems. I prefer that you, you know, leave your comment uh, on the member area because then I can give proper support. You can even like. Uh, do this also on YouTube and subscribe to my channel if you want to be updated on new stuff. Uh, yeah, see you in the next video and uh, good luck with your flat zone project. Bye bye.